Yo, today I'm going to be talking about the movie Mama. This is a horror film from uh, E1 Entertainment, or Entertainment One as some people call it, which is the full name. Uh, released January 18th, 2013. Um, yeah, so this stars Jessica Chastain, I think you pronounce her last name. She's actually pretty cute too. Uh, it's produced by Guillermo del Toro, and uh, it's written by... Neil Cross, Andy, and Barbara Muschietti. And it was also directed by Andy Muschietti, who would go on to do the It Chapter 1 and 2 remakes, which I have a review for the Chapter 2 one because I hated it. <laughs> Got, you can hear all my opinions on that somewhere here on the channel. Then he's also slated to be directing The Flash, which come, movie, which comes out in 2022. Yeah, and he's done some other, like, few other things, but yeah. Anyways, this film had a $15 million budget and made a crafty profit because it made $146.2 million for a while. So, definitely a decent profit. Now, this is your basic, like, haunted house story in a way. Um, basically, if you haven't heard of this, it starts off with um, this, uh, you see a guy and his two daughters and uh, he's running away from something. And, uh, basically ends up, like, getting killed by something. And these two dollars are left in this house in the woods. So about, I think it's like eight years later, uh, you, it shows, like, people looking for this house. And then they find it, and they find these children now, feral, living off the land, basically. Who can't communicate through English or any other language. And is sort of acting like animals, or like Mowgli in the Jungle Book. And, uh... Yeah, but they do, ha they only know how to say mama to something. So, yeah. So basically, their uncle takes them in, and scientists are trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, as they become more adaptive to being with him and his wife, something happens to him. He falls down the stairs and stuff during the spooky stuff that's happening. And uh, so he's in the hospital, and then. They're more talking about mama. And, uh, yeah, which is basically spoiler, I guess. But if you watch the trailer, you probably know. Mama's the spirit that looked after the kids which followed them to the house. So it starts haunting the house. The wife, played by Jessica, uh, thinks something's up. And then he's, the husband's like, yeah, right. La -da -la -la. And then she shows herself to them. So... And then basically it's them trying to figure out how to get rid of mama, but also keep the kids safe and stuff. So yeah, overall, that's the best way I can describe this film. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, it is like a haunted house movie. I like how there's not very many jump scares in this though. It's very creepy, especially first time watch. You watch with the lights off and like the sound up. It's really pretty creepy. Um, yeah, and uh, but the couple of complaints here. So, there's great character build-up in this and stuff, but they definitely show the mama character way too much. So, you see, the first time you see her is awesome, like, fully. And, uh, there's some cool, like, supernatural effects and stuff like that that they do. Like, the younger one's, like, tugging at a blank, and you see the blank go up by, behind a wall. And then they have, like, a few from the quarter where the Jessica is staring at us. So, back at the camera. But then you also see um, what's going on in the room. So that's always cool. But they definitely do show too much of Mama in this. And the ending is weird as hell. <laughs> um, which uh, it, I found interesting. But it's really like odd. And not really reasonable I don't think. Like yeah it is. But somewhat. But yeah. Um, and then especially right at the last five seconds didn't make any sense at all. But yeah, so that's basically all I have to complain about this movie. But yeah, trailer's linked down below, as always, if you want to check it out, if you haven't heard of it or seen it. So yeah, but I am going to give a rating of this, this one. I actually thought it was pretty well done besides the weird ending and the fact that they showed it too much. And the character development was pretty good, like I said. So very well crafted. Good little spin on it. I'd probably give this a 4 out of 5. It's a good one. 
just don't go in there expecting like conjuring style haunted house stuff it's definitely not like that it's a good for a good one under it's just under like the it chapter one remake so of uh on any machetes filmography so yeah but yeah i'll also my instagram's linked down below too where i post clips of films i'm going to review in the future make sure you follow me there uh, comment down below if you've seen this. If you have other horror films you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below too. Might take me a little bit to get to them though. Um, yeah, like this video, share it. Make sure you subscribe for more film opinions. And yeah, but I got a whole pile more horror films to watch since we're in quarantine still. So yeah, let's get to it. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.